Schools in the Riverside Unified District will welcome students back to class this morning. Very excited for them yeah. and the parents as mm -hmm. well. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live at Harrison Elementary with a look at their plans for a safe return. Good morning, Cara. Good morning, Harrison Tigers coming back today and behind us. We just had some staff out here getting all those balloons up and into place, a little bit of sparkle and some signs. They're going to be busy this year, too. They've not only got to catch up kids academically and socially, they've also got to work to keep them safe. Let's give you a look at some of the kids here taking part in their summer program. The 12 and under crowd doesn't have the option of being vaccinated, so take a look. District leaders say face coverings are going to be an important part of their safety protocol. Under state requirements, students will need to wear them indoors, not outside. Riverside Unified students will also self-screen for COVID symptoms at home and have temperatures taken as they arrive. COVID testing is only required for students who show symptoms. This district, along with others across our viewing area, have taken the additional step of hosting vaccination clinics for older students and families, and we caught up with one ninth grader rolling up his sleeve in Compton. Feel safer. That's like one of the main reasons I want it. I want to be prepared and stay in school. About 100 people took part in that pop-up vaccination clinic. Unfortunately, pediatric cases across the U.S. have been rising just as school starts back up. During the last week of July, nearly one in five positive cases were kids. Health experts say as transmissions surge with this more aggressive Delta variant, it is particularly important to step up the vaccination push. Back here live, DeMarco and Suzanne, uh, lots of excitement here today, and the hope is that this can keep going, that they can keep in-person learning uh, throughout the school year. That is the hope, Cara. Before you go, for parents who aren't ready to send their kids back for in-person learning, is there a virtual option available? There is. There are, there's actually a virtual program for younger kids, the elementary school kids, and then a separate one for older kids, and they do have the option of taking part in some of the uh, other programs with kids, like in-person uh, pep rallies and athletics programs, they can kind of pick and choose so that they can feel they're a part of the school. All right, Kara Fenton reporting live. Kara, thank you.